In this video, we will look at the different types of shower walls. Specifically, we'll cover three types. Shower walls below the ceiling, framed glass shower walls, and a pony wall that is tiled on the lower portion and glass on the upper. Let's begin with the glass wall that is below the ceiling. Underneath the Chief Architect main wall tool is a specific straight glass wall. You can use this for your shower walls. As I draw a wall across the alcove, you can see that this wall reaches the top of the ceiling. To lower that wall, I can come over into the 3D view. I can click on the top edge, highlighted with a red selection handle, and I can pull this down. As I'm pulling it down, before I release the left mouse button, I can press the tab key to enter in a specific coordinate. If I pull that down 24 inches, it will move that wall a precise amount. To be a little more exacting, you can do this in an elevation view. As we come back over into the floor plan view, and I use the wall elevation tool, and I cut a wall elevation through that wall, now I can click on this wall in the elevation view, you see the temporary dimension, provided you have your temporary dimensions turned on. As you can see in my right-hand menu bar, and you can click on this and use that temporary dimension. I'm just going to pull that up so that it's a couple inches higher at 88 inches. So it's just above that tile banding. So you can be very specific with that dimension using the elevation view. There is an additional way to create a partial glass shower wall using the railing tool. I'll show you a little more about that when we get to the section on the framed glass shower wall. Let's move on and take a look at using the pony wall for a combination tile wall on the bottom and glass wall on the top. Below the straight glass shower wall is a straight glass pony wall. This is a two wall type that has glass on the top and tile or sheetrock on the lower end. Depending on the direction you draw this wall, it will have tile on one side and drywall on the other. Very easy to change that so that it has tile on both sides. You can use your material eyedropper. Make sure you're in component mode in the lower left-hand section. You can then spray that on and you will have tile on both sides of the wall. As I pull this wall across to the other side now, this wall height for the tile can be adjusted inside of the wall definition. Let's double click and open up the wall properties. On the wall types panel, let's begin with the top and work down. The upper portion is a glass shower wall. It's marked as a pony wall and the lower wall type is an interior for tile on one side. As you rotate around, you can see tile on the other side. I've already painted that. If you want to make a change to this, you can click define and modify that wall so that it has tile and save it in your template plan. Elevation of the lower wall at top is 42 and 7 8 This includes the depth of the floor, so you'll notice an extra 7 8 of an inch. To adjust this height, you can come in and let's make it 36 inches, and you can see that wall then lower. Below is an align option for the wall. Currently, it's at the wall center. As you zoom in, you can see that the wall is centered. This can be set to be at the outer surface, the main layer, which is the stud, wall center, inside, inner surface. Depending on what you're trying to do with your shower, you can use that setting. Display in plan view is the option if you want the upper wall, which is the glass, the lower wall, which is the two before style, and then you can also display the upper outline and lower wall. Again, depending on what you're trying to do in the floor plan view, this is what will be displayed. On the wall cap panel, there is a wall cap that is set on here. Currently, it is set to be the full wall width. So as you kind of zoom in and you look at that wall cap, this is a profile molding that can be replaced. If you browse out to the library, you can use the replace. If you want to uncheck the full wall width and change this to a number that will exceed difficult to see, but it exceeds the panel slightly. So you can change how the wall cap profile is and what the dimensions for the width and the height are. To lower the upper glass portion down from the ceiling, you can click on this in the 3D view or in an elevation view. 
you can pull this down. You can press the tab key before you release the left mouse button and enter in the coordinates. And I'll just put in 21 inches and exactly position that so that it's just slightly above the tile banding. The last wall type we'll take a look at for shower walls is the framed version. To create a framed glass shower wall, I'm going to begin with a straight glass wall and draw a wall across the alcove. There's a few steps involved with creating a framed glass shower wall, and that includes converting this to a railing and then changing a number of settings to get the frame components that will surround the wall. The good news, once you've created this wall or any of the other shower walls, you can add that to your library and reuse it for future projects. Let's begin by double clicking and looking at the wall properties on this wall. On the rail style panel, I'm going to check the option to specify as a railing. Then I'm going to mark that it is a panel based railing and then also that the rail is to post. On the bottom rail, I'm going to uncheck raise lower bottom. On the newels and balusters panel, this will control the height for your wall. I'm going to go ahead and set that at 84 inches. For the posts, this is going to be the actual frame that we're going to use. I'm going to use one inch. Difficult to see, but it's down here. And I'm going to change the height of that to match the railing height, also at 84 inches. For the spacing, this is the distance that you will have the repeat of that frame. And I'm going to go ahead and set that to be 36 inches. On the panel thickness, I'm going to set that to be the thickness of the wall. I think I'm using a half inch, so we'll set that to be at a half inch as well. And then I'm going to move over to the rail tab. And for the top and bottom rail, I'm going to set the height and the width to be at one inch on both of these. There's a profile. If you wanted to use a different profile, you could replace that from the library. Those should be the key changes made in the dialog. And as we close this, you can see that we have the style, and I'm going to use the material eyedropper in the 3D view. First thing I'm going to do is pick up the material off of the glass. Make sure I'm in component mode in the left hand corner of my menu. I'm going to spray that onto the panels. And then one more material eyedropper off of the material on the handle, and we'll spray that onto both the top and bottom rail, and then also onto the newels to get that aluminum or stainless look for that panel. Those are the key steps in creating a framed glass shower wall. When you go to place your shower door, and let's show this in a 3D view, let's go over and change to the door tool, and I'm going to come down to the shower door. As I come over here, you can't get an indicator on this wall where the shower door is going to be placed. You see on the far right hand wall, I am getting a door location. In a 3D view, you cannot place a door in a railing. So I'm going to go back over into the floor plan view and with the door tool and the shower door, let's come over, move to the outside. I'll press and hold the left mouse button down to flip the door hinge side. Now you may notice in the 3D view, the shower door does not go to the top of the railing wall. Railings cut above the door. You either need to lower the railing or raise your door to fill that gap. I had mentioned you can add these walls to your library. You can click on the wall and you'll see a tool in the lower edit toolbar that is add to library. Once it's added into your library, you can then click on that. And let's go over into our floor plan view. And as I click and drag to recreate this wall, you can see as I kind of zoom out a little bit in the 3D view, you can see that we've created that shower wall that we spent the time to create. That wraps up this shower wall types video. To learn more, please see the built-in help file or our other videos. Thanks for watching.